Hey Grace Posse, welcome back to the Daily Devotion. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to talk about a voice from the whirlwind. It's going to be Job chapter 42 verse 2 that's going to be our focal passage. It says, I know that you can do all things and that no purpose of you can be thwarted. The book of Job begins with an exchange between God and Satan in which Satan claims that if Job were to lose everything, that he, then he would curse God. Then a series of calamities befall Job. His many animals were stolen or killed. Almost all of his servants and all ten of his children are killed. Job is then struck with some loathsome sores that disfigures him. His wife says, curse God and die. But Job refuses to sin against God. Job's friends arrive and show him sympathy and comfort, as we see in verse 11. Seeing his suffering, they sit with him for seven days and nights without saying a word. When they speak, it is to persuade Job that his suffering is due to his sin. For 34 chapters, 34 chapters, his friends, and he talk with Job, occasionally stating that he would like to argue his case before God in a courtroom. Finally, God speaks from a whirlwind. God does not explain why Job suffered and give Job the opportunity to argue his case. Instead, God contrasts his abilities with those of Job and every other human. Humbled, Job meekly responds that he had no right to question the purpose of an all-powerful God. Why not? When we suffer, isn't it fair to ask God why we are suffering? Why do, why do bad things happen to godly people? Where is God in suffering? The book of Job provides no easy answers for those and other tough questions about suffering. But the book does make one thing very clear. God does not cause us to suffer to punish us for our sins but wants us to repent from our sins and follow Him. Repenting is nothing more than changing our mind to agree with God because our sins have been wiped out because of what Jesus did for us on the cross. God doesn't manipulate us to make, a, make these things happen. Instead, God allows us to use our free will to decide how we will respond to the blessings and sufferings and anything in between. God wants an eternal relationship with you, and no purpose of His can be thwarted. So let's look at this passage in context here. Job, 9, or Job 38, 1 through 9, and then verse, or chapter 42, verses 1 through 6. And the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Who is that that darkens the counsel of the words without knowledge? Dress for action like a man. I will question you, and you will make it known to me. Where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? Tell me, if you are understanding. Who determines the measurements? Surely you know. Or who stretched out the lines upon it? On what were it bases it sunk, and it laid the, its cornerstone? When the morning stars sang together with all the sons of God shouting for joy, then Job answered the Lord and said, I know that you can do all things, and that no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Who is this that hides counsel without knowledge? Therefore I have uttered what I do not understand. Things too wonderful for me, which I do not know. Hear, and I will speak. I will question you, and you will make it known to me. I had heard of you by hearing of the ear, and now my eye sees you. Therefore I, I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. So let's look at some questions that we can draw some that we can reflect on and draw some application from. Why does God allow his followers to suffer? With Elijah, God was silent in the mighty wind, an earthquake and a fire and then spoke in a whisper. Why did God speak to Job from the whirlwind? Why didn't God explain to Job 
why, or explain why Job suffered and give Job the opportunity to argue his case. Was God angry with Job for asking why he had suffered? Why or why not? When you suffer, how does that change your relationship with God? Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, whatever circumstances we are placed in, may we praise and not curse you. May we follow and not flee from you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys, and I'll see you next time.